Recently approved redistricting maps could result in changes in uncertainty in Richmond County's representation. The county is currently in District 66 for the North Carolina House of Representatives, which also includes Montgomery County and a sliver of northeastern Stanley. But the redrawn map pairs Richmond with southeastern Moore County, creating a candidate conundrum. The new District 52 has two incumbent representatives in the same district, which pits Representative Ben Moss against Representative Jamie Bowles in the Republican primary. Moss announced in a press release Thursday that he would be seeking the District 52 seat. Bowles told the RO Friday that he too would be running for re-election and that a formal announcement would be coming next week. While the current District 25 comprises all of Richmond, Anson, Moore, and Scotland counties, the new District 29 takes away Moore and Scotland and adds Montgomery, the western half of Randolph, and southeastern Union. This would have double bunk Senator Tom McKinnis with Senator David Craven out of Randolph. However, as the Carolina Journal reported, McKinnis recently switched his residency to run in the new District 21, which comprises Moore and the most of Cumberland County. McKinnis could not be reached by the RO on Friday afternoon. McKinnis has held the seat since the 2014 election. As for the seat in the U.S. House of Representatives, Richmond is in a new district again. The county is currently part of the 9th Congressional District, which also includes other counties, mostly along the U.S. 74 corridor. According to the new map, District 9 will comprise mainly Charlotte and Richmond County, along with Union, Anson, Hoke, Moore, Montgomery, Scotland, and Stanley counties, and Eastern Mecklenburg make up the redrawn 8th Congressional District. Dan Bishop told the RO on Wednesday that he would be running for re-election in District 8, which includes about 85% of the population he currently represents, and he spent the past two years interacting with those constituents. Although he doesn't currently live in the new district and doesn't have to, Bishop added that he is planning to move. Knowing they were facing a tough opponent, the number one Richmond Raiders couldn't overcome turnovers and a couple of late penalties against number 16 Leesville Road on Friday. The second round matchup in the 4A East playoffs came down to the final couple of drives, but the Raiders couldn't beat the clock and fell 19-14 to the Pride. Richmond held a lead after the first quarter, but a trick play on special teams by Leesville Road in the second quarter shifted the momentum. The Raiders committed three turnovers in the loss, and the Pride were able to capitalize on two of them. Leesville Road didn't commit any turnovers. Head coach Brian Tiller noted that field position played a big part in Friday's outcome, but said the Richmond defense did a good job at fighting through adversity. Richmond's season came to an end with a 10-2 overall record, and Leesville Road advanced to the third round to face Nightdale. Two Richmond County Sheriff deputies were presented with training certificates earlier this week. According to a social media post from the Richmond County Sheriff's Office, Sergeant Paul McDowell and Sergeant Richie Watts were both awarded their intermediate law enforcement certificates from North Carolina Sheriff's Education and Training Standards Commission. The certificates were presented Tuesday, according to the post. McDowell serves as a patrol sergeant and is also one of the agency's canine handlers. Watts is a supervisor of the Animal Control Enforcement Division. Certificates are awarded based on officers' years of experience plus the amount of professional training and education the officer receives. When we return, we've got your Live at Five weather report. It's coming up after the break, so stay tuned. JC's in Rockingham has you covered for used appliances, parts, trailers, and storage. We have one of the largest selections of reconditioned washers, dryers, and refrigerators in the Sand Hills, and we offer free delivery to residents inside Richmond County. Come check out our variety of trailers for any hauling job and our storage buildings for the things you need out of the weather or house. We also carry parts and accessories for appliances, trailers, truck beds, and can order the things you need. That's JC's on South Hancock Street in Rockingham. Hometown heroes, well, maybe. When it comes to backyard comfort and no pesky mosquitoes, call Brown Termite and Pest Control at 910-895-6410 or 910-276-8870. Their team of superheroes can take back control of your paradise. That's 910-895-6410 today. McNair Auto Sales is the place to buy your pre-owned car, truck, or van. To be the best, it takes big selection friendly staff, and great pricing. We guarantee a no-hassle buying experience and financing is available right on site. 
So come see us today. We're located at 1026 East Broad Avenue in Rockingham. And remember, with over 40 years of experience, you know McNair is the name you can trust. At Richmond County Hospice, we strive to provide high quality care to our patients and their families. Whether it's the incredible hospitality at the Haven House or from the comfort of your own home, you can count on hospice to be there for you. We also offer monthly grief support groups and our chaplain will be there to hold your hand in prayer. Through our amazing staff and our volunteers, hospice has made difficult times easier for our community. Call the number on your screen if you feel that you or your loved one may benefit from our services. Richmond County Hospice, peace, comfort, dignity. And welcome to your Monday Live at 5 weather report, Richmond County. Hope you had a wonderful weekend as it was a pretty chilly one, but it wasn't too bad either as the day rolled on. We saw temperatures pretty cold early in the morning, but as the day went on, it did get warmer and that was pretty nice to see. Uh, definitely one of those days where you had your jacket on in the morning and took it off by the end of the day. And looking at tonight, we're going to be seeing those jackets staying on as we're going to be seeing temperatures drop down very significantly down into the 30s tonight. It's going to be very, very cold. Luckily, though, we do have a clear sky. So if you can handle the cold weather, I definitely suggest going outside and checking out some stars tonight because it's going to be a clear night for that. But looking at tomorrow, we're going to be seeing a lot of nice weather coming along again. We'll be getting down into the 40s for the low and up into the high 60s for the high with a lot of sunny skies and out and about for the Sand Hills region as well. Over in Cumberland County, it'll be a high of 67 and a low of 46, with Hope County seeing a high of 67 and a low of 44. Down in Robeson County, we'll be seeing a high of 69 and a low of 47, with Scotland seeing a high of 68 and a low of 46. Up in Moore County, we'll be seeing a high of 65 and a low of 42. With Richmond County, we'll be seeing a high of 67 and a low of 43. Across the PD in Anson County, a high of 67 and a low of 46. Down in the state line, Marlboro County, a high of 67, excuse me, a high of 69 and a low of 45 for there. Now looking at the seven day forecast, we'll be seeing plenty of sunshine along the way. We'll actually still warm up just a little bit back into the 70s later on this week, uh, but we'll still see some pretty cold temperatures coming on in as well. Tuesday, sunny skies, high of 67, low of 43. Wednesday, also sunny skies with a high of 74 and a low of 50. Then on Thursday, party cloudy skies that will last all the way through Sunday. Thursday again, high of 76, low of 48, with Friday a high of 57 and a low of 31. It's going to be your coldest day here. Saturday, a high of 55 and a low of 33 with Scotland, excuse me, Sunday, we'll be seeing a high of 63 and a low of 41. And then on Monday, a 30% chance of rain is in the area, high of 62 and a low of 34. So like I said, plenty of sunshine and a little bit of clouds along the way. Should be a little bit of a mix of all types of weather. Really, November seems to be that mixture of hot and cold weather. Uh, it's been really nice past couple of days. We've seen uh, those temperatures hanging around the 70s, but it does get down to the 30s as well. Tonight's going to be one of those nights, so again, bundle up uh, if you're going to be outside or any time tonight. Richmond County is going to be a very cold day. That is going to do it for your Live at 5 weather report and for tonight's edition of Live at 5. For the latest news, sports, and events happening in Richmond County, you can always visit RichmondObserver.com or download the free RO app for your mobile devices. For the Live at 5 crew, I'm Russell Parker. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow. Good night, Richmond County.